In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this viscosity print using a magic ingredient which I haven't used before. I came up with the design concept by photographing some flowers I had in my garden um, and this is the original image um, and what I did is I used a tool called Procreate on my iPad and I sort of digitally enhanced the image into kind of more illustrative um, photograph and then I used sort of different monochrome um, not monochrome, but sort of limited colour combinations to come up with, um, sort of to reduce the amount of colours I have, just to give me sort of ideas of what I could achieve potentially with colour graph. Um, I then decided to go for a cutout image uh, without background and um, I created, I printed my image onto a um, transparent paper and then transferred the design um, onto my plate. What I found really tricky in viscosity printing previously is sometimes the loose ink doesn't quite repel the thicker ink as much as I'd like it. And previously I just used um, linseed oil to loosen up my looser ink and I just used the other ink, the thicker ink, just in its normal consistency. Um, in the this video I decided to use a new product that I found online um, just by searching um, thickening paste for intaglio links and I came across this aqua mag mix thickening paste and decided to give it a go um i used a linseed oil to mix up my yellow and a thickening paste to mix up my madder lake with white so i've essentially i've used three colors indian yellow sepia um zinc white mixed with madder lake and uh, I created a plate, um, this plate is already dirty because I've, I've run a print um, with it uh, and I created this plate with my raised areas which here you can see in yellow and these raised areas are the areas that have been run through with a hard roller um, using the loose yellow ink and then the pink areas have been rolled over with a softer roller using a thickening paste um, and the pink has been repelled by the yellow. So this is how I was able to get this contrast between two different colours um, in this print. I've got here three layers of transparent printed image, a, news, a bit of newsprint and some carbonated paper just for me to transfer my image onto the plate. And now it's time to trace the image. I'm going to cut out my image. Um, you need quite a sharp scalpel for that. It's, it's quite hard work and you might need to cut twice, but it does come off eventually. And I think it's really well worth it because it, it the embossed image onto the lovely print making heavyweight paper is unbeatable. And as you can see, I've just broken my scalpel. Luckily, no injury there. And I was able to um, get a new blade in. And now that once everything is cut out, I'm just basically smoothing out the rough, rough edges with a bit of sanding paper. Uh, 
And now I'm adding a, a bit more detail to the design. And here is the final uh, drawing ready for me to cut it out. So I'm just scoring it right now with a dry point tool. And uh, for larger bits, I'm going to cut it out with a scalpel. Um, so it's quite a laborious process with this plate, but I think it will be really worth it. And um, it will look great. Spending a bit more time on, on the design, it, it will really pay off. So all of this cutting out work is to create all the areas for the darkest sides, um, darkest parts of the plate. So these will be sepia dark parts and um, is a lot of work and my fingers were really hurting towards the end, I must say. Uh, but um, it was actually quite good fun and very therapeutic. A dry point tool is brilliant for these really small details that will come out in a plate. And now I'm going back to my printout and I'm scoring out through um, the carbonated paper all the regions that will be in a that will be sticking out a bit more and that will be treated with the sticky ink. And there we go, finally, we have all the bits of uh, yellow that I will now create. Mm. Uh, it's time to put all the raised bits uh, from all my yellow parts of the plate. And that is a mixture of wood glue and polyfiller, 50-50 more or less. And I'm just applying it with different um, thickness brushes, depending on how big the area is. And uh, these areas will be raised and I will roll over a hard roller with them with a yellow loosened ink. And then when my plate is dried, I, I'm just sanding out bits that are s sticking out a little bit too much so I I'm, I'm, don't scratch my roller. And then I'm going to... Uh, I'm, going over with just wood glue on its own uh, over the areas that I've um, created with polyfiller so that uh, it doesn't trap too much ink. And the main reason I do that, so as you can see now I'm applying sepia to the entire plate. I don't want that sepia ink to get trapped too much by my, my raised areas that's supposed to be yellow. So this is why I applied wood glue so I could wipe the sepia ink off and expose those areas and get my lovely Indian yellow ink onto the plate. Um, I, I have shellacked my plate before I inked up. It's not shown on, the, on this film, uh, but it has been done. And here I'm just spreading out um, the yellow, Indian yellow, ink that I've mixed up with linseed oil, half half, more or less. So that should make ink quite loose. So uh, th with hard roller I'm just rolling the yellow ink over it and now uh, the Madder Lake ink mixed up with my thickening paste, I'm just rolling it out and with a soft roller I'm just going over it here and as you can see the yellow ink has repelled the Madder Lake uh, ink. Um, I'm just doing some touch-ups with some cotton buds and just do a bit of scrim just to give some highlights um, in, and a bit more three-dimensional feel to my plate as well as uh, just adding up a bit more yellow because um, I wanted a bit more contrast felt it wasn't enough there. Uh, so, you know, just adding a bit more and just wiping off a little bit ink of, of ink that got into the wrong places. And finally, uh, a big reveal. Um, here we go. Peeling off that newsprint. It's always a very exciting moment. So obviously I've, I've wetted my paper. It's a 300 GSM paper, Snowden. And there we go. 
Ah, it's awesome. I'm actually really pleased. Uh, look at that embossing onto the page. This is what I love cutting out um, a print. And here it is um, in its full glory. Um, even though it's a proof, I actually think it's good enough uh, for a final print. And I might do variations of different colour schemes. But all in all, I'm really pleased with the plate. So I won't work on a plate anymore. Um, really hope you enjoyed the video. And happy printing. Mm -hmm.